In the end, all the dramatic debate over Legacy Ranch the past six months came down to an anticlimactic vote, and unusually with no statements from the commissioners. Call for vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Motion carries. And with that decision, the county approves the preliminary plat for Legacy Ranch, which would place over 600 homes and condos on 500 acres of farmland north of Stevensville. The board added conditions such as a prohibition of wood stoves and banning non-exempt wells, two hot-button issues during the hours of public hearings. Commissioner Greg Chilcott believes the board responded to concern. I do. I think there's been a lot of deliberation, a lot of public comment. It was all heard, all listened to, all taken into consideration. At the end of the day, we follow the evidence and we come up with a legal conclusion. During the hearings, only a handful of people spoke in support of Legacy Ranch, showing strong and emotional opposition. Well, unfortunately, it's, it's not a popularity contest. It's not whether we like it at a gut level or not. This is a legal dis decision that we make, and we, we have to follow the rules that are given to us. Commissioners point out this is just preliminary plat approval for a project to be phased in over 30 years. They say the county will be watching developers closely. That's absolutely true. The county has taken a, a big part of the the covenants through the conditions, especially through phase one, where we are actively participating in the enforcement of those covenants to make sure that they're adhered to and followed and protect the citizens in the north end of the county and the county in general as much as we can. In Hamilton, Dennis Bragg, MTN News.